Hey guys, it's Kelly and Izzy. Um, I thought I would get on camera, and I know I look a little rough, <laughs> but I wanted to get on camera because I wanted you to know something that happened last night. And it happened to me, I didn't think it ever would, but um, I know that a lot of you have fur babies. This one's mine. This is Izzy, and she is a Yorkshire Terrier, or more commonly known, uh, she's a Yorkie. And um, she uh, had a little problem last night. Uh, I am trained in CPR and um, rescue breathing. Um, I've always been trained in that because I work with kids, and I thought that it was important because if there was ever an emergency, I would know what to do. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> while I was on vacation one summer, I did have to use that skill. Um, it all turned out okay, but, um, we had to pull someone out of a pool, and I was the only one that knew what to do. And so, um, you know, I I'm not happy that I had to use it because it would have, um, there was a lot of horse play going on, and there was some things going on that it could have been prevented but um you know the reason that I've got you here and the reason that I'm talking about this is I guess I'm gonna call this one of my lifestyle videos because it's important that everybody knows what to do if something happens to your pet um, if you are trained in CPR or rescue breathing um, then you probably already have an idea of what to do but last night we don't usually give Thank you, sweetie. We don't usually give her anything, you know, any human food of any kind. But I had made some barbecue chicken last night, and my son had just a, a like a bite-sized piece on his plate, and he was getting ready to, you know, scrape his plate clean. And um, I said, "Why don't you just give that to Easy? Because it was, you know, it was just chicken, and um, you know, that's really good for dogs that won't eat, that are sick, or things like that. It, the you know, the protein chicken is good for them. So, um, he said, well, how do you want me to give it to her? <laughs> I said, just throw, just put it in her bowl. And, um, he handed, he put it in her bowl and he turned around and he, he held his plate to me. And as I was taking his plate away, she, she fell over on her side and she started seizing. I mean, she just, it was, it was that quick. It, it was just a matter of a second or two. Um, she got choked. Um, she fell over on her side and she started into the seizure. Um, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> um, but you can see everything turned out okay. Um, but I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about your animals. I don't think that you should get an animal unless you are willing to take care of them. And um, part of taking care of them is knowing what to do in an emergency situation. And animals can be treated a lot like humans in some ways. Um, you can learn and get certified in um, CPR for dogs. And if you didn't know that, um, now you do. Um, you talk to your local vet and find out where you can take classes. Um, usually what you do is you hold their muzzle and if you're gonna do breathing for them, then you, you blow th in air into their uh, their nose and um, that sort of thing. But last night when she got choked, at first I panicked and I was just like, oh my God, she's choked. And I mean, it was, she, I was, I was seeing it happen, but it just took a second to register what was really going on for me so um she's heavy <laughs> just for one arm she's a heavy little girl but um I grabbed her up I put her body between my legs I was I was on my knees I put her body between my legs she was thrashing about you know and um, I put her body between my legs for that her her face was that direction and because she was seizing her jaw was clenched I pried her jaw open, and the first thing I tried was to get out the chick the chicken she was choking on. Um, fortunately, it was just, it, it was in her windpipe, but it was, I mean, I have long fingernails, thank God. Um, 
So I was able to clear her airway. Um, she peed all over herself and me, um, but that's okay. Um, after we got calmed down and I made sure she was okay, I called my vet and asked if she needed anything extra. And she told me that, you know, as long as she is, you know, breathing normally and seems normal, um, and when she did, she said that then she doesn't, you know, she should be fine and not to worry about it. But if she exhibits any odd behavior to let her know, well, she's perfectly fine. Um, she even tried to play this morning with my son. He was busy trying to get ready to go to the pool and she was <laughs> wanting to play. <laughs> so, um, she's perfectly healthy and fine now. But you need to know that you can treat your animals a lot like humans as far as when a human is choking, um, if you know the Heimlich or whatever, but if that person is already unconscious and you suspect that they've choked on something, then they call it the finger sweep. And you, you actually reach in their mouth and you, you know, twi tr <laughs> you try to sweep, sweep out whatever might be in there. And um, that's what I did for her. So I, I, yeah, I was able to get it out and she immediately started breathing again. And um, everything was fine, thank God. Um, I look terrible because I've been shook up. Um, this happened last night. It's now evening here. <laughs> and um, she's she has pretty much, <laughs> she's holding my hand. <laughs> She um, she was shook up, of course, um, and I just couldn't get myself up today for anything other than a shower <laughs> and some coffee um, because I was worried about her all night. I was trying to watch her, and I couldn't really sleep. So, um, yeah. So, what I would like to do is just to let you know that it's very important that you become CPR cert certified for humans. If you have a baby... Um, there's a different certification for infant CPR and so you need to be certified for whatever age group so if it's adult CPR or if it's infant whatever you need I suggest because most of the time it's free if you go to the American Red Cross they will train you for free and so get trained because that training it can help you save someone's life possibly a loved one but it can also in a lot of ways it translates over to your pets and you can you can help your pet. So, um, if anything happened to this baby, I don't know what I would do. Hmm, I can't even think about that. But she's precious to me. She is like my child, and she makes every step I make. She's with me wherever I go, and I, I absolutely adore this little thing. And I'm so thankful that not only did God provide an opportunity to calm me long enough for me to think about what I needed to do for her, but that what I was able to do for her worked. And so, anyway, I just wanted to get on and do a little quick video about that. And um, if you don't have any children of your own, but you do have pets, check with your vet and get certified for your animals because everybody matters even if they have four paws and fur <laughs> but I just wanted to talk to you about that is he look you want to say you want to say goodbye you want to say goodbye look right there look right there say goodbye <laughs> thanks guys for listening take care bye